Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E. Today we're going to be looking at my Longines Hydro Conquest Full Ceramic Case Dial Bezel Clasp. This is going to be a quick long-term review. I've had this watch for approximately six months. This watch is my daily wearer. And after having this watch six months, the only thing I could see from going from here is going to this watch's uh, big brother in the Swatch group, which is in uh, Omega uh, Full Ceramic. But I really like this one so much, I probably won't do that. I'll probably just keep this. This shares a lot of the same DNA as the Omega. And let's just take a look at it. Now, full disclosure, um, I did remove the outer AR coating on here. A lot of the Swatch products, as well as Brightling products, they put a, um, an anti-reflective coating on the outside. And I'm just going, to, just going to be honest with you, that got scratched up the first two weeks. So what I did is I took a Dremel tool and I took some poly watch. I dabbed it on there and then I just buffed it out on the Dremel tool until it all came off. It took about an hour to an hour and a half to remove all the um, all the anti-reflective coating on the outside. There's still a copious amount of anti-reflective coating on the inside. So the watch is fine. It looks no different than um, before I removed it. I just want to let you know that is the only thing I did to this watch in the six months. Now, let's just uh, get into it real quick, um, and I'll close you out with a long shot. This watch is, um, eh, what is that? 42 millimeters, and that is about 13 millimeters thick. And then the lug to lug is what I get most complaints on. The lug to lug on this particular watch is going to be about a 54. Now, my watch, my wrist is 7.25 inches, so that lug to lug um, doesn't bother me at all. And it fits my uh, wrist just about perfect. You got a 120 click bezel. Sounds real nice. Um, it's real positive, real tactile, especially because it's um, ceramic on ceramic, so it, it really sounds real nice. No back play. You got bicolored loom, you have a green pip, and then the rest is that BGW9, and it's laid on there thick. You have the bezel. These numbers don't come off or scratch off. This is the... Um, applied um, the same way the Omegas are with the liquid metal uh, type bezel. All the numbers are applied. You have a white date wheel with that white date box, rhodium plated hands. And the watch is just stellar. As you can see, I've been banging this watch up against door frames. I dropped it three or four times. Um, the watch, it's just rugged. This isn't your normal um ceramic it does have um a better tinsel strength than your normal like pottery ceramic so don't be afraid to get this watch you're not going to drop it it's just going to shatter yes there has been some omegas and um tag hoyers and stuff that has uh bezels cracked and stuff but this these newer formulas they figured out a lot uh, about ceramics and this zero two ceramic um is great now you got to remember this watch isn't going to patina or fade the dial is also ceramic and these long jeans come with the, um, their own um, in-house movement the reason why I say it's in-house because it is a swatch movement and a swatch owned company and long jeans uh, have a special movement just like the Omegas they're only in these long jeans and this has a beat rate of um, I believe 25,000 just like an Omega um, the escapement is different. It's not coaxial, but it has a, a more traditional uh, escapement. And then some of these are equipped with uh, uh, silicone uh, balance uh, springs, too. And you get about uh, 65 hours power reserve with this also. But this watch is really nice. You have a screw down ceramic crown, ceramic crown guard, ceramic case, ceramic dial, um, ceramic bezel. And you also get a ceramic case back. 
and then your clasp is going to be uh, ceramics and also uh, um, carbon fiber and you even get your little buttons that are ceramic and what's cool about this watch you have a little adjustment right here you can hold this down and you can adjust your wrist if, if it swells up on a hot uh, day or if it shrinks on a cool day so that's a cool little feature that uh, built-in um, extension that a lot of watches don't have so the way this is held up the, the watch looks and I'm being honest with you exactly like when I purchased the watch it's not like a steel case watch it's not like a titanium watch you just don't get the fine hairs and scratches on this watch you know so if you're interested in an all-black watch this is going to be the way to go either this long jeans or a full ceramic uh, maybe I think Chopar may make some or, or an Omega because you don't have to worry about the case getting wear and tear there simply isn't going to be any there isn't going to be any patina this is it's just always going to look like it did when you purchased it I really don't see anything wearing on this except the band and I will purchase another band in the near future just so I can have an extra band uh, from a long jean and now this is 21 millimeter lugs so so you can switch the band I don't know why you would want to because this uh, band is fantastic it is made of vulcanized rubber it's uh, super soft and comfy but it's also rugged as a vulcanized uh, rubber strap would be now underneath the strap under the twin trigger deployant you have a long jeans pattern under there and that looks real nice but this watch has stood the test of time and long term this is something that you want if, if you're a fan of keeping your watch looking nice this is going to be the one to get now let's look at the loom as I said before it's by color you get that scion blue on the numbers and then you get the green on the pip I don't know if you can see that or not it's by color and it is beautiful and this lasts all night this BGW9, it, this, the formula that Longines use is a stellar formula. You don't have to worry about this fading. This is a premium dive watch, 300 meters of uh, water resistance, uh, screw down count, uh, uh, crown, and you have a, a dual case back on here. This case back comes off and then underneath it's going to be another part that comes out if you want to uh, service the watch you know and then it kind of has like a naiad lock system whereas when you put this back on everything is always um, right side up so it's always going to look right too see how everything is even um, that's kind of like an Omega thing too but this watch um, is awesome and it's it's held up well and um, I'll put all the specifications up right here you'll see them go up and, and it's just great if you can afford this watch I understand they're retail for 37 you probably can get it for about 27 about a thousand off but this watch get these while they are still in stock because I don't think long jeans is going to keep this one in their uh, portfolio forever then you're going to have to jump up to an Omega if you want a full ceramic uh, watch with this quality and that is going to cost you about seven to eleven thousand dollars why you can grab one of these for about three grand well that's the watch once over my name is Big E. six months for six month review it held up stellar everything is fine with the watch zero issues uh, one thing I did was remove the outer coating on here and I suggest you do that too if you have any Omega because they will get scratched up if you don't believe me watch uh, Barkin Jack's video on how his Amigo uh, Crystal got scratched up. And that's the watch once over. My name is Big E. God bless. I'll see you guys on the next one. And thanks for watching. Bye now.